So you may be thinking, Ando, that looks like a delightful regular sized great ball that no one has any issue with. Well, you know what, little Timmy? That's where you're wrong. This sucks. Yeet! Guys, it's 2020. You can't be playing around with miniature or regular sized great balls. You've got to be playing around with the brand new um, Pokemon Pokeball tin collection thingies. These are so random, but they're like a bit over a year old now, and they're a smashing success. Pokemon keep putting these bad boys out. They're really, really random, but the design of the Pokeball is sick. So the latest collection they just put out includes a brand new dive ball. We've got a great ball as well, two ultra balls, and two regular Pokeballs. I've got no idea what boosts are inside here. I don't even think it's going to be like normal, regular Sword and Shield new boosters. I think it's gonna be a free-for-all. And just quickly as well, guys, I thought I should mention we just launched Series 2 of the Unlisted Leaf Mystery Boxes. So the Series 1 went absolutely amazing, and I still can't believe how well it, like, all went. I think we sold out in a week of the first lot. But just like last time, there's only 36 of them, because I don't want to overdo it. And they're all, like, hand-numbered and everything, so you can collect them all. But Series 2's here, and inside... You don't only just get a GX All-Star pack, right? Where you could get a God pack. Inside of each individual one in Series 2 is a PSA card. And one lucky box will have a PSA 9 base set Charizard. So yeah, um, I'll link all this down below. It means the absolute world, everyone that always supports the channel. And I still can't believe how well the last one did. So I made a Series 2 and hopefully you guys enjoy it with um, Collectible Madness. Link below. But let's get back to the Pokeball. Alright, so I think the first one we're going to unbox is none other than the Dive Ball. Because everyone was always harassing me, I think in the comments of the past week. Ando, can you open up the new Dive Ball collection tins? Um, and we finally got him in. So let's open up this one. I don't know, as I said, what possible boosters that'd be including this time round? Because before I know there's been like a Burning Shadows, there's been Evolutions in a couple. It's really, really random, but these are like on the newer side. They just came out two days ago. So maybe that have... I don't even know if that have Unbroken Bonds. It would be... Oh, you... oh, look, 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 look. You still get it. Okay, good. Burning Shadows, fantastic. Could get a Rainbow Rare Charizard. Evolutions and a Lost Thunder. These are brand new and they're chuck- So is this like Pokemon's way of getting rid of random booster pack stock? Then we get a Lucario coin as well, which looks pretty cool. Lucario is just named like one of the most popular Pokemon ever. So then I think the Ultra Balls are brand new as well. Do you get the same boosters inside of here or are they different boosters depending on like what Pokeball um, you decide on getting? That'd be a bit weird. They're all, as I said, like, relatively new, so... Oh, gosh! Let's bust this one open and find out. Is that one... That's something new, isn't it? Or is it... No, it's Lost Thunder again. Unbro... Oh, my gosh! Yep, no Unbroken Bonds, no, like, Sword and Shield. It's the exact same boosters in the... Oh, my goodness. It's the same coin as well. Lucario coin. So the Ultra Balls have the same stuff. Interesting. What about the Great Ball? We got a Great Ball right here. Let's see what's inside of here. I think the Great Ball's from like an older collection though. I don't think these are new new. And then... Oh, see, this is what I'm talking about. This is what... What the flip? You still get a Burning Shadows, Crimson Invasion, and then Ancient Origins. Still very, very old pack. So that's a Great Ball. And then last but not least is a Pokeball. What was the coin inside of that one? What the heck? Alolan Ninetales? Really weird. Okay, so we've got a regular Pokeball this time. What do you guys reckon is going to be in the random Pokeball? You get five guesses. Maybe you'll get an internet cookie if you get it right. Uh, and then inside of that one... Oh my goodness. Crimson Invasion. Ancient Origins. As long as you get the Burning Shadows, I'm a two max. I love that set. And then we basically just got a uh, Ultra Ball and a regular Pokeball. So let's get those open and see what's inside. And just like that, with the power of ending, we managed to crack those open. And looks like it's exactly the same stuff. So you get a Burning Shadows, Evolutions, Lost Thunder. And this one, Lost Thunder, Burning Shadows evolutions and the like the craziest part to me is like these are fantastic i love the design of the tin but whoever designed the tin knowing that the only thing in there would be boosters and a coin has just made them a little too short we're gonna cr like they obviously just measured how big a pokemon card is so people could store their cards in there but it squishes the booster packs like this so all of them have like squished edges the most weird concept ever then all the coins are either a alola nine tails lucario um, or a Lola Ninetales. Yeah, they're literally all the same. So maybe that's how you tell if you got an older or newer one. 
But let's stack all of these boosters up. Let's get into it. Fingers crossed. We've got a lot of burning shadows here. We can... Oh, it would just make the video if I could somehow pull Rainbow Rare Ultra Rare Charizard card. Yum! Please let that Rainbow Red Charizard come to me that I should have pulled three years ago. Holy smokes! I hope the prayers have worked. I hope everything's sort of in these boosters today and we get really, really good pulls. I don't know what the ratios are. I always feel like there's one good Pokeball and the rest are bulk, but we'll see how we go in this opening. So without further ado, we're starting off with none other than an Evolutions. It's a Charizard pack, which hopefully, potentially could lead to... Some kind of Charizard, this could be good. Either the base set, um, reprint one, the hollow one, or the full up mega Charizard, which I literally think is going for about 50 bucks. So I would, you know what? Let's just make it a general search of the Charizard today. Obviously, a rainbow rare one would blow my mind. But you know what? Mega, ooh! Reverse Pikachu, that's pretty good. That's not too shabby. And then, oh, that's so classic. We just pulled this in a literal base set pack the other day. So we're gonna go the reprint version. There's a couple of big differences, but the main one, if you're trying to tell the difference between like a base set and evolutions, right here it says 2016. I don't know if you can see that. And then obviously as well, the holo pattern is way different. It's um, yeah, your, your card will look a lot more vintage than this one. This one's a little bit miscut as well, but anyway. Not a bad start to the uh, good old booster opening. Got an evolutions Gyarados reprint. Now it's time for the Big Daddy. I almost felt like I should divide these between sets, you know, like have Burning Shadows, Lost Thunder, Evolutions, but see how we go. I'm just, oh, it would be bananas if this is the opening where it happens. I have had really, really good stuff out these Pokeball tins before, but I have had absolute poop before. Pan Sage, Pan Poor, Porygon, 3P Pokemon in a row, Charmander, and then... Ah, oh, that's not how you want to start a Burning Shadows. We've got a Lost Thunder now. Okay, back to the Lost Thunder. This is actually not a bad set. It's something I don't really need anything out of straight away. There's nothing I'm really looking for. So, whatever we get, it's going to be a good time. So, we've got a lot Lightning-type energy. Morty. Then in Stantler as well. Quillava looking pretty good. Got a Houndzor. Poipole. Lavitar as well. Love that Tangler artwork. Then Prisms are back in this set. Okay. Ditto Prism card, fair enough, we're gonna take that. And then Holo Manganium, that's pretty good. I love Manganium. Prisms are kind of like the new break cards. They're good, but there's nothing too crazy. What do you guys think of Prisms? Are you a fan? Manganium Holo right there, which isn't too bad. You can go with our Gyarados back there. So, first Pokeball win. You get one Holo and, I mean, you get two Holos and one Prism. What a weird ratio. Okay, we're back to the uh, next tin, I guess. This time, it's a good old Burning Shadows pack. Hopefully, something's inside of here. What are you guys' thoughts on the selection of boosters, though? Do you like... I know you guys actually like these tens. I didn't initially think you did, but... The amount of people that are requesting me open up. The good old new Aqua Ball and then the Ultra Balls. But what do you think of the choice of packs? Are you a fan, or do you think it could have been a bit better? It's kind of like where they shove Steam Siege and everything. In this one... They've, I don't know, they've just sort of got all the weird boosters in the factory they couldn't get rid of, plus the Burning Shadows, and that's how they made up these ones. Oh, I was going to say that's not a holo. Good old Polo Sand right there. Not too shabby, but a regular holo out of Burning Shadows. I'll take it. Hopefully it's building up to something. So put you at the back, and then we're going to X and Y Ancient Origins. This is known for the Hooper full art, and I remember we actually pulled it, I think maybe out of a booster box. We'll see how we go. We've got a Forest of Giant Plants. Then Ariados as well. Lucky Helmet. Golurk. Spinneract. Love Esther. Magikarp looking chunky. Faded Town as a reverse. And then regular rare Porygon Z. See, another one's like Crimson Invasion. That has to be one that they can't get rid of. But as long as we get a cool looking Pokeball tin, I think it's alright. There we go. White and green coat as well to save the day. This could be looking good. We've got Lightning-type energy as well. Then a Psychic Memory, a Selagore, Kakuna, Execute as well, Jigglypuff. Is he running away from the uh, dude behind there? Swablu, Cubone Reverse. Oh, not too shabby. Our first GX ball is a slightly miscut, but still looking epic. A Lolan Exeggutor. Dude, this is pretty good. Tropical Head, Dragon Hammer, and Tower Go Round GX. I'm not kidding. That's actually the attack's name. Dude, Exeggutor is so sick. I just love the fact he kind of looks like just a massive extended pineapple. 
Oh, I remember when he came out in Pokemon Go, it was such a big deal. That's actually a card I don't see too much, so I'm not too uh, mad about that one. Put a regular GX at the back. But I'm still looking for that ultra rare pull. It's surely going to be in one of these bad boys. There's the code as well. Let me know if those codes are good or bad. What was that? That was a Lost Thunder, wasn't it? Ah, oh, there's one more card from the back. We can do it. There we go. Unlisted Leaf Energy. And then a Flaffy as well. Then a regular trainer. Sudowoodo as well. Fampy. Yanmask. Stunfisk as well. Love it all. Fairy Charm Reverse. Kind of brings back the sad feelings of fairy type Pokemon. Then we're back to Evolutions. Then we're back to Burning Shadows, two in a row. I gotta ask as well. It's classic. It was Pokemon Day yesterday. What did you guys do? Did you do anything to celebrate the big day? For me, I just tuned into the new Mewtwo movie on Netflix. I rewatched it. Fantastic remake. If you haven't seen Mewtwo Strikes Back Evolutions, it is fantastic. So that's pretty much all I did. I headed down, got a couple of cool products that are open videos soon to my local card shop, but that was about it. We're gonna march shop, reverse far fetched, and then. You know what? Regular Ram Mewtwo still looks like an absolute badass. So I'm gonna take that card. Alright, Burning Shadows now. We've got two Burning Shadows in a row. Fingers crossed, at least a Charizard GX. You know what? I'd be A-OK -okay with that. Let's go, what was it? Four from the back, and hope for the best. we got Water Type, Wobbuffet, Electrite as well, Guzma, Sneasel, Volpix, Horsey, Noibat, Grimer, Beware, and Electros, Regular Rare. Alright, back to back. Come on, it's literally, it's a day after your birthday, Pokemon. You should be going easy on me. It's another solid green. Are you kidding me? Gotta be playing my mum's SpaghettiOs right now. Darkness type energy, Electrite, Simisage, Knocked out, Esper as well, Pikachu, Noibat, good old PewDiePie, Tangler going for a walk. Classic Tangler. Then we're back to Evolutions, boys. This time a Charizard artwork, again. Seems to be a pattern, a lot of Charizard artworks. And it, I, look at that, look at that, look at that. It was a white and green. There's the code. Boom. It's so funny, you can tell how misplaced all of these are because some code cards are turned... Oh, snap! This is a good start. Secret rare surfing Pikachu right there. But some of the code cards are turned around and some of them aren't, which shows they're from different eras. Surfing Pikachu, you go with the back. Classic, like, secret rare. Really, it's not, not worth that much money, but still counts as a secret rare. Doduo, Star you. I still get excited about it. Seal, Charmander, Magnemite, Nidorino Reverse, and then Holo Raichu! Oh, I will take these Holos, man! Energize and Spark Bolt? Dude, that's actually not a bad looking card at all. Okay, Raichu, you go at the back. You know, pretty interesting selection of Pokemon so far. I, I guess it's like mediocre-ish pulls. We have opened up a lot of boosters. Um, I reckon we're more than halfway through right now. Then we go back to the good old Lost Thunder. There's the code card. Four from the back. Maybe Lost Thunder's got the goods. We've got a Fighting Type Energy. Then we've got a Hitmontop. Then we've got a Farber. Then a Tangler. Volpix as well. Snubble going for a walk. Oh no, it's another prison, isn't it? Dude, what the heck? Lusamine prison card right there. Oh wow. I, I don't know. I sort of block out prisms and break cards in my memory. But yeah, classic. So we get the prison card. All I remember is like prisms are worth so much more in Japan because they're very like really playable, but in English not so much. And good old mythical unknown. Not a bad Pokemon, but still a regular rare. Back to Burning Shadows. This is good. Then we're getting back to Crimson Invasion. All right, you know what? At least they didn't put a Steam Siege in there. We're doing all right, I think, in, that, in terms of that one. Open you up. Swing you guys around. There's the code. Hopefully someone gets a Rainbow Red Charizard. I reckon. Unlisted Leaf Energy to start this party off. Po Town. Good old Ramabi, Sneasel, Horsey as well, Cutie Fly, Ladybug, and then another regular rare, Sneaky God of War in the backgrounds. Got voted, I think it's like eighth or sixth, like most favorite Pokemon of all time. Like, she's got a lot of fans. No way, that was another regular green on a Crimson. You're kidding me, unlisted leaf energy right there. Kakuna, Gastrodon. Then a okay, I know we've been recording for a hot minute because the camera conked out, but I think we're up to like roughly here. Swine up, and then Numa as well. Got an Alteria Reverse, and then Octillery Regular Rare. The final four. So after I open the Ancient Origins, that's the last tin. Does that not seem like 
There was 18 booster packs, I'm 98% sure. How did we fly through that many packs so quickly? <laughs> That's a lot of money or a lot of uh, tins. Surely the bottom three right here has got to have the goods then. What was that? That was an X and Y Asian Origins, wasn't it? Oh, hopefully it was. We've got an Energy Recycler, then a Matang, Sableye as well. Good old Meowth, Oddish, then a Porygon, Golurk, Golurk Reverse, and a Clay Doll. Regular Rare. It's down to the final tin. Holy smokes. Lost Thunder. Celebi, you're looking cute, but I don't know if cute's going to get you over the line today. We'll save that Burning Shadows to last, I reckon. It's a ho-ho artwork. Oh gosh, the door didn't want to come off that one. Peel off the wrapper, swing it around. Code cards around the perfect way. And let's get into it. Fairy type energy, bringing back those feels. We've got a pincer, Lampurnt, Sable as well, with a picky peck, Durant, Cubchu, Thampy, Wurmple as well. Got an adventure back, and there we go! There always has to be a banger, I swear. Full art, Alola Ninetales, pure pink background. Look at that, that's gorgeous. You know what's so fitting is like the Pokemon coin inside of some of these uh, Pokeball tins was literally Alola Ninetales and we go and pull the full art version. That's so fitting. I wonder if they did that on purpose. I don't know if they know what card they're putting in the boosters and then in the tins, but that's sick. Oh man, all right. Full art Alola Ninetales GX right there. And then the two bad boys to finish it off. Let's do an evolution, see if we can get a Charizard or something. And then last but not least, it's going to be Ka -ka, the bird himself. There, oh gosh, that code card was really washed out. Oh, 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 I think this is something. Repeat, I think this is something. Kakuna, Potion as well. Venusaur, Spirit Link, Doduo, Staryu. We've got an Onyx. Fairy type, do you see that? Voltorb, Caterpie Reverse. Oh my goodness me, it's a full art Mega Pidgeot EX. Dude, look how much is going on in this one card. I thought it was a Mega Charizard as well for a second. Okay, get this, get this. This was clubbed up as far as, like, tins go. So this was one Pokeball tin. So, like, as far as, like, everything else we got, right? I mean, it's average. One tin, back-to-back -back full arts. Mega Pidgeot EX. Muck Cyclone is the attack, but guys, anyone else thinking they're doing the trio? Surely we can't get a hat trick out of like one individual Pokemon tin. This is terrifying. All right, Mega Pidgeot EX, you got the back. What do you think? The Pokemon do that? Why? Why didn't they spread it out? I don't know. Let's just go for it. Oh no. I'm kind of scared, but I also think it'd be the greatest video in history if that happens. There's the code card. I'm gonna go four from the back. Oh, it's so tense right now. Fire type energy. Weakness policy, Potown, Ramabi, Rhyhorn, Ralt, Tangler as well, Kaimo, Semi Sage, and then. Oh, none other than a regular rare. Wow, that's still crazy. Two full arts in one tin. Anyway, let's do a recap, work out exactly what we got. That went way, way, way too fast. Alrighty guys, so if you were to go to the store right now and you had to pick only one design up, which one would it be? What was your favorite? I think as far as the six that we opened today, it would definitely be the dive ball. But what I'm low-key waiting for, what I think is going to blow my socks off in, in like terms of design, in terms of pulls as well, when are they going to release the master ball? Because surely that's just going to have the craziest pulls ever. It's going to have like the GX All-Stars booster in there and it's always going to have a god pack. That's going to be sick, but I think for now, the dive ball wins out, but maybe you don't like any of that, and you're like, dude, the premium ball is pretty good, or maybe the quick ball was good, something we didn't unbox today. But in terms of the recap, we do have the surfing Pikachu right here, then we've got two different holo cards, Manganium looking good, then two different prism cards as well, they're just chucking in all sorts of sets nowadays. We do have the Evolutions reprint, holo Raichu, and Gyarados, looking good, I love that. And now one, our only, he's very, very lonely, GX card. That's all we got, which is nuts, considering we end up getting two different fuller cards. Pink background, Alolan Ninetales GX, and Mega Pidgeot EX. Almost got the gold border and like the gold tint around it, 
for it's got that glorious full art texture on it. Definitely let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thank you again to Collectible Madness for dropping this off. And if you want to check out my Mystery Box Series 2, it'll be linked down below. But most of all, guys, gonna keep on gaming. Alright, guys, next Pokeball tin opening, which will be the Master Ball. I'll see you then.